They are everywhere and won't seem to go away. Box elder bugs are out in full force right now. Many people are on social media complaining about the invasion. WCCO's Pafua Yang found out what's behind this year's influx. That's just a very small congregation of them. Mary Vanelli thought she was going to have a year without dealing with nuisance pests. I was so happy to be outside. There were no gnats, there were no, no mosquitoes, and I thought, yay, there's going to be no box elder bugs this year, but I guess I'm wrong. Swarmed across her home are the six legged insects. And while the drought and heat seem to have caused the box elder bug influx, oh, they'll be all over the stucco. Experts say the that's floor. not necessarily the case. We haven't seen it in a few years, so that's why. It's catching people off guard. Aaron Buckholes, a pest management specialist, says every three to five years we'll get a heavy infestation of box elder bugs for no reason at all. The good news is they do not cause any structural damage. They do not breed inside your home. They don't carry disease either. Box elder bugs congregate near homes to stay warm and seek shelter. The insects are attracted to sunny, warm areas. Experts say the best way to manage and prevent box elder bugs from getting inside your home is to seal up. Any possible entry points and one you might not realize using scents. I find that a lot of insects do not like the smell of peppermint oil, so if you can tolerate that, you can try it. Vacuuming is also an option, but if you're not up for the task, you'll just have to tolerate the bugs until they hibernate in the winter. They are a nuisance and they're kind of startling because they will all of a sudden get up and fly. In Woodbury, Pafu Yang, WCCO 4 News. Experts are not recommending sprays to kill box elder bugs because it could kill pollinators too.